Hello everybody, my name is Timothy Trespass and I am a targeted individual. Uh, I'd like to try to bring everybody up to speed on the insanity that is my life. Uh, this week I'm sick again with some kind of flu, coughing up goo, but not so sick. And I've been doing the running around looking for uh, rooms a bit and calling and we managed to see one and we were almost going to take it but he wouldn't let us have a cat. Uh, I got to call the guy Joe or George or whatever the landlord super bang on the door guy and he let him know what's going on. He, he texted me this morning. Oh here's a number from the daily news room for rent called it up. Room's been rented seven in the morning. Um, we still have electricity. Thank you very much God. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, everyone who's praying for us. Uh, I told them, you know, sitting here in the dark from 4 o'clock in the afternoon until 9 in the morning wastes a lot of time when we could be online looking for a room and whatever, you know? So he was kind enough to pull the breaker and put it into somebody else's box, the super's box, and uh, on his meter. He said, I'll give you power for one week, so that's tomorrow when they're going to turn it off. <coughs> if he's going to turn it off, I'm going to run the generator, and we're going to have the fire department, and, you know, all that shit. Or he'd be a nice guy, maybe he'll leave it on, I don't know. Uh, I didn't call him every day, like I said, because I was under a terrible attack for a few days, and... I'm just getting used to being attacked back. <laughs> you know, it's weird, man. They, they like, punish me, torture me, hurt me, say horrible things in my mind. And, you know, what do you do? You take it. You do the best you can. You, you end up looking like me. <sighs> um, and then, every now and then, in a hurry. Every now and then they turn it down so it doesn't hurt so much. And believe it or not, the panic attacks stop. Uh, my constitution improves. My appetite improves. I can actually drink coffee without having a nervous breakdown. Um, I used to be like, you know, a couple cups of coffee a day guy. After they did this to me, I couldn't even touch this stuff without having a freak out. You know, it was like fucking some kind of hyperamphetamine or something. I don't know. Uh, anyway, you know, I felt better. I, I was happy for the first time in a long freaking time. Uh, you know, personable, in a good mood, made love. Uh, I'm so blessed. Really, you know, there's something else I wanted to talk about, well, is the victim mentality. When they did this stuff to me, when I realized I was being drugged and followed and I had bugs shooting out of my body and, and unheard of creatures that changed, you know, camouflaged themselves like chameleons, shooting out of the top of my head every seven and a half minutes and uh, people following me everywhere and the whole insane business it's weird you know it's you have the same reactions everybody does interpersonal violence we're being attacked we're not used to being attacked unless we're fighters and we're soldiers fighters and soldiers fight back they defend themselves or their position or they fall back and fight again normal people what do they do well they do what they were told they do what they saw on TV or their natural instinct kicks in some of them are going to survive, some of them aren't. Long term, none of us are going to survive. Uh, I forgot what my point was. I got to go because I am late. Anyway, being tortured, you naturally hate and have anger and want to hurt back the people that are hurting you. You know, interpersonal violence, you want revenge. You want to be, uh, you want to feel like you're, you're a person, you're a man, you're whatever, you have power, it's not been taken away from you. 
your your an individual right, you know, the protection of yourself, whatever. And when that's violated, and you're victimized repeatedly, of course many people will internalize the victim, you know. Fuck, they're not just beating me up, they're raping me electronically, you know. I mean, go on and on, and of course you're going to be a victim. And some people never get out of that victim state. I don't know. I'm trying really hard to, you know, but even the, the, the moniker we use to identify ourselves as targeted individuals does not seem... Well, it can be empowering, yeah, sure, I don't know. Anyway, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. I've reached my destination, so... Uh, and my thoughts, they, they leave my head, and I don't remember what I was trying to say. Thank you, Morgellons, Alzheimer's, and metal poisoning, and microwaves. We love you. Bye-bye.